But okay guys, we apologize for that small, small hiccup. Hopefully you get damn sure his microphone here sorted in a moment. He does have a new one, but we haven't had a whole lot of time to play with it. And I think he's got the StarCraft thing that takes it over and makes it super duper loud. Uh, regardless though, whether it's damn sure Zombie Grub and I or just Zombie Grub and I, we'll find out in a moment. For now though, it's the winner's match in Group D for the big one! One of these two guys is going to get through and join the other six players in the round of eight. Uh, of course, after this stream's done, we'll be able to draw and see who it is. But for now, spawning in the bottom right corner of the map from Samsung Galaxy, coming all the way from Korea to fight against the now European Yun, it is the blue Protoss player, Stork. And the upper left, as uh, the red Zerg, it is Rocket Yun, which is a uh, confirmed saber tooth tiger. <laughs> yeah, well, no, actually, technically, Bear won that vote, if you recall. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you Did it re really? <laughs> yeah, it actually did. <laughs> we, oh. ran a, we ran a little bit of a poll on a stream one day because we were arguing what this was, but uh, yeah, apparently our stream viewers are dumb and think that's a bear. Um, Namshar, you want to... Yeah, okay. Testing now. Is Hi, welcome better? back. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Is this your headset, I guess? Uh, or... Yes. Uh, yes. Yeah, um, yeah I, I saw the settings like changed. Uh, yeah, so... I'll teach so, you how to fix that another day, or immediately after the stream, or maybe when we're on yeah. break, but it's kind of a headache to, to explain right now. Sure, um, alright. <laughs> but yeah, okay, so those who don't know Namshar, he's joining us on this tournament for the first time now. He's one of the mm -hmm. casters here at Base Trade TV. He's done a lot of events with me. He's helped me cover a lot of stuff when Zombie Grab hasn't been available as well. It kind of started off as a fill-in, and now it's like, hey dude, welcome to the family. But, uh... <laughs> Yeah, how you doing, man? You're at the beach today or something? You have a good time? Yeah, thanks, man. Yeah, I was, uh, yeah, I was there with my family. It's just, yeah, it was really nice weather, so yeah, I went there and it was. No, see, fuck yeah, you. No great. StarCraft passion. I should not have invited you to the call. <laughs> no, of course I'm just teasing. Uh, I'm glad to hear you had yeah. a good time. No, it was nice. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> All right, so for those who don't know, Namshar is a grandmaster of Zerg on the European ladder. He actually just qualified for WCS. A little bit of a yeah. compliment there. <laughs> uh, of course, Hyun, probably one of the players I imagine you idolize in StarCraft too. Yes, I love watching here on this. Yeah, he's really good. So it's, it's gonna be a treat for sure. I've not seen his CVP for a while, so this is gonna be uh, great. And we we'll see Stork went for Nexus first, I'd imagine, or something into Forge. And Are you taking a lot of guess or are you uh, at actual build time here? Because <laughs> it is Nexus. For you. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's a quick nexus nonetheless, but he, he, so he untook the other base, like, because he saw the probe, right, with his Overlord in the natural, and he's like, he did. He didn't try and pull like two drones, you know, try and kill the probe. He just took the third or like the second base of the third base location right away. And he's got four links out now. And that probe is being sneaky. Look at that guy. Wow. Wait, where? Top top left, north of Hyun's base. Oh, wow, yeah, all the way up there. <laughs> So I thought there was like something going on in the watchtower, and I was like, wait, what? Uh, but okay, Yo. so this could possibly be a pylon for later. Yeah, and Thanks. Yan is looking ah. for it. Look, look at the Ling on the east side of the map. He's like looking for the probe, can't find it. So. Dude. Mm -hmm. Thank God that high ground warp ins have been disabled. Right? Yeah. Can you imagine <laughs> sneaking a pylon? Yeah. Oh. The... oh my God. Uh, <laughs> Yan might actually see yeah. us with the over. No, it's actually rallied away. So this is the yeah. sickest hide and seek champion probe of the world. Overlord, are you serious? You're going right towards it. <laughs> oh, there's like, there's no. a serious Anne Frank joke here. I'm just saying. Um, but Frank Lee, if this probe gets to get a pylon down, Stark, who normally might come in with like a three gate or a four gate, is suddenly going to be able to hit a lot harder because it's not coming from the expected location over here. Hyun's shown us in the past he's really good at picking off pylons, and this is actually a really nice choke where zealots can choke in and fight against hordes of lings. So I would be, it'd be kind of funny. Um, if Stork is the exact same build he against Rival on this map. I think he should. Like, this is a golden opportunity too, with that pylon gonna be there. Like, Rival didn't even see it coming, and the pylons were in the normal position. So, he gets five Phoenixes, this is the four gate again, it's gonna wreck. Alright. Um, yeah, that could be a thing. I mean, he's got those two gases quite early. So, I mean, I wouldn't be too surprised to see, like, a, you know, quick Rover follow up. But, I mean, he could, like, add, just add on uh, gates as well. He's just gonna do that now, yeah? Yes! Yes. <laughs> okay, so I really like that he's going to take advantage of this. This is not something you normally see. Like, to explain real quick, guys, oh, no. Hyun's not an idiot or anything for not scouting this. This is just simply that nobody really hides up here or goes up here. Yeah, so. I mean, Hyun scouted, yeah. like, almost everywhere as well, except, like, that spot pretty much. Like, he's been well, pretty active with his links and stuff, oh. so... I feel like you just assume that there's an overlord over there, you know? 
you start, you know, running out of places to put your overlords on the map, afraid of phoenixes, so you start bulking them up over in that area. It's so weird that Kian doesn't have an overlord over there. Yeah, and um, I mean, this this is a lot of gateways. Yes, I don't anyone even more gateways now. So whoa, I just <laughs> got an animation on my screen. Yeah, uh, it was. It took eight so, minutes. So, Ryan Shutter, the creator of GameHeart, was able to program First Blood with our animations and with our sound into it so that I would never miss it again. Oh, wow, that's <laughs> it, sick. It only happens if you're on everyone vision, though, so yeah. Now if you spectate off me, you won't, you'll hear it, but you won't see it. As yeah. Oracle gets okay. in here, starts killing a lot of drones. Normally, you know, this gets about three or four and is driven off, but seven drones killed. And a spore crawler completes just as it leaves. A scumbag spore crawler confirmed. Oh, and he's so, gonna stack up the cellots as well. He's got six gateways. Oh, and a third behind it. Huh. Yeah, it's not what he did against Revival, um, but he is still taking advantage of the pylon. He's not gonna go into Phoenixes either. Okay, the, going to plus one. I thought the plus. <laughs> I thought he canceled the plus one. Um, but the, all these zealots, they're coming in. Surprise! What's up? Yeah. So this this wasn't like three or four. He really waited to bulk this up, and I like that choice. Yeah. Hydra's den is in the most exposed place. This is actually a really guarded place normally. But... Oh, this Oracle. Oh. No, oh, the drones. Oh, I should target the queen. Well, it's still a good snipe on the queen. Um, coming back for this, the hydras gonna spawn here are gonna just get killed immediately, which kind of sucks. Uh, he's gonna need a lot of hydras to deal with this, of course. And the hydra oh, den. Wow. den goes down. Uh, group spines denied for research. This is looking really bad for Hyun. It's Stork is looking. <laughs> that probe, guys. That probe. Seriously. Uh, that's like the Zerg nightmare. Like that's <laughs> that happens to everyone every now and then, and it's not really something you want to happen in a such an important match, and I mean, mm. Yen just took so much damage here. I mean, it's he, he can kite these, he shouldn't really be taking a lot of damage. Yeah. It's not quite as bad as when you don't see them place a pylon in, in, in your main, but it's, yeah, it's still <laughs> yeah. <pretty> bad. <laughs> yes. Oh, uh, is he not gonna go clean that up? Yeah, you know, maybe he thought there was like a warpism over there or something. No, he's I mean, gotta he's know, he's oh, gotta he can't know. Be okay, he's going back now. <laughs> kind of, I, I, I think he was chasing the zealot, so that's why he just had to do it. Oh, uh, two hydralis tents? Yeah, this is weird. I, I mean, I would say this is a clear mistake, but this looks so intentional. Like, when the, look in the main, they're like right next to Oh, you know what? Like, no, this is. I think so he's, he's going to get upgrades. both upgrades. Yeah, yeah he's yeah. going to double upgrade and go hard with like Hydra. Okay, this makes a lot of sense. I like this a lot, actually. Because uh, we look what Stork has, yeah. and it is primarily gateways. You know, Namshire talked about possibly getting the robo, but that didn't really come into effect, so Colossus aren't exactly. going to be here. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, he skipped that completely to make that attack more powerful, so he doesn't have... He decided not to place the Robo even after the attack, oh. which I like, because he's going to have more units because of that, but... I like this Colossus. I mean, on the off chance Hyun was scouting, maybe he looks at this mm -hmm. and he gets scared to push, but... Sure. Uh, Hyun's not scouting. Because he's playing a little bit more blindly, this will, <laughs> this will work really nicely. I'm thinking, though, what's, what's Hyun's plan here, though? Because he's taking a four, and he's not getting any follow-up text, so is he... Just gonna make like a pretty big army and go for it because there's like no plan after this. Like, he wants maybe it's just oh, maybe he's you know, uh, banking on the stork moving out, which he is kind of. I'm not sure. Mm. Right, maybe he's just gonna attack when the upgrades finish, could be it as well. Yeah, I guess he's gonna attack when the upgrades finish, but you know, stork has this high ground now. If you know, he doesn't have any splash in Colossus or Storms. If he can cut the, the Hydra army in half, or even without a ramp, even just now, he still has enough gateway units with Blink to take care of it. Uh, but this fight is going less than, uh, less than... Well, you know, not the best Blinks from Stork, but still. Well, Hyun's just kind of losing a good chunk of the majority of his army was beating yeah. back down to 36 supply. I mean, okay, a lot of the force fields were used, but there's still plenty more behind this. The Hydra count is not nearly high enough to just brute force his way in there. I mean, he really should have... Honestly, just giving up this fourth and back away from that engagement, that, that's not an engagement he should have taken in the first place. I mean, yeah. guys, you gotta understand, like, gateway units are shut down so easily by Hydralists, but not in low numbers. Um, Sorkram is just taking his gases at the third and throwing down a robo just to kind of be on the safe side, but looks like he's just gonna try one more time, see if he can make this work. And he does have a lot of stalkers and sentry energy. Aggressive blink. Well, that's a lot of force fields. Yeah, Transfusers wow. are going down to try and keep that queen alive. I mean, the Hydras are trapped in them, and he's got group spines, right? Musker Augments doesn't get any additional benefit on creep, but the, the blink stalkers are too much. Drones being pulled. Getting in a lot of trouble, guys, and this all spirals off that one crazy pylon. Yeah. Yeah, his Stork's economy was just too good. He had that. He was mining from his third for a long time before he was mining anything from his third, and that's 
obviously not in a position you want to be uh, in as a third player, so yeah. GG. <laughs> Rodas Hope. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, we might have one Protoss in the round of eight at this rate. Yeah, that's true. It's actually the only Protoss, yeah. Yeah, um, but that's that's just game number one, guys. Of course, it's a best of three, so this is not quite over yet for Hyun.